So today is the first day of Fashion Week, and of course it's raining, it's starting to pour the next couple of days. Hey, seems to always be the case at the Winter Fashion Weeks, and in Paris too this year. Usually Paris is the best time it goes in the fall. It's not raining, it's sunny, but it's also not hot and humid. It's, like, it's usually perfect, but this year it kind of rained a lot. Though I got kind of lucky it didn't rain when I um, was out shooting, so it was okay, but there's definitely more rain there than usual. And today and tomorrow is going to pour. So, I'm doing an indoor event today for Flying Solo. It's called Fitting Day, kind of a behind the scenes thing. The guy's gonna come along with that, so that's cool. This is all indoors, and then we have a couple of shows tonight at Spring Studios. So, I'm not gonna do too much street style shooting today because of uh, the weather, obviously. I have my hair back because um, the rain will take the curls right out, so I'm gonna take it out anyway. So, I put some clips in here. Um, that I got this Christmas for my sister. And then I can show you what I'm wearing later. I have this jacket here I got it at uh, Zara. I've seen this before. Everything, mostly this uh, fashion week, is um, I shot in my closet. Um, I've got a few new things that mostly I shot in my closet. So you have seen this before. I wore this in Paris a couple of years ago. And then I have this cool skirt that I got at Deacon's Closet, the one, yes, where I had my wallet stolen. And I'll be wearing my Kohan boots, which I don't have on right now because I'm shooting um, this event, so I have to sleep this on right now. Like I got in Paris with Zara, I've cut my cameras, and I'm wearing my bowl. Back here, some back to the of that last season. So yeah, uh, I'm going to be uh, heading in there um, pretty soon. I'm kind of excited. It's kind of taken me a while to get uh, into a fashion week of this uh, season. I've been just feeling kind of sluggish. I don't know why. Maybe it's the weather. I don't know. But, um, you know, it's taken me a while to get into it. But uh, once I get into it, I'll, you know, then it kind of like I get, I get the bug, so to speak. And I'm really uh, into it. I get kind of uh, the adrenaline rush going. So, yeah, I'm that. Tomorrow's going to be a long day. I have a show at 9 in the morning, and then I have another one till 7. I hope to get some street style shooting in between. It's not going to be a total uh, washout. I'm going to hope to meet my um, co-worker, former co-worker Joe, which you may have seen in my other fashion video. I haven't seen him since then, so I'm excited to get together with him. So that'll be tomorrow. Anyway, so uh, and I have my rings on here, and I have this other ring that I got last uh, fashion week. But I didn't have it on right now, even though it's a really fun ring, it gets caught on everything. I kept getting caught on my coat, so I didn't put it on, it's driving me up the wall. But I do really like it. Um, I think I showed you guys that last, my last one. Um, and I'm not following her, Astrid, Astrid Vera, I think her name is, and she's a really great jewelry designer. My nanny, if you want to see here. Oh, is it focusing? Back. Anyway, that's my nanny. I like it. So, I'll see you guys at the Flying Solo Fitting Day event. So it's just the all yeah, okay. Kind of oh, okay, I see. Yeah. And how long have you been designing? I've been designing for seven years. Um, but this is my fifth season of New York Fashion Week. Oh, wow, fifth yeah. season. And how long have you been with uh, Flying Solo? Um, this is my first season. Oh, very cool. Yeah. Are you enjoying that? Yeah, I'm really excited for the show. And you can tell me a little about your uh, inspiration. So, um, so the collection is called Flash 2020. And it's all about how in the world right now, there's like so many flashing of opinions and like just things going on. It's just like the world is yes. crazy. It is so, crazy. Um, so I'm showing basically how clashing can actually be beautiful through different colors and prints. Um, yeah. That's so you're saying your aesthetic is a lot about uh, mixing and matching color and prints? Yeah, like maximalism and um, like definitely, definitely matching. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, I love this. Thanks. Oh, wow, yeah. so cool. Yeah. So I use um I use all faux fur and vegan leather, so everything is vegan. Oh, excellent! So all faux fur and vegan leather. Mm -hmm. Oh, excellent! Yeah, and then um I design my own digital prints. Oh, you do your own prints? Yeah. Oh, that's so cool! Is that a cupcake? Yes. <laughs> 
Very cool. Yeah, and, um, and lipsticks. Oh, it's so fun. And this too. Wow, this is really yeah. cool as well. Yes, the disco bodysuit. Oh, the disco bodysuit. Oh my god. <laughs> What's not to love about that? <laughs> well, I'm excited. I'm excited for the show. Thank, Thank you. you for talking to me. about since last March? Yeah, so it started in March. Um, I've been doing some new shoe illustration and I showed my name to her and um, some of the illustrations she was doing and she said, well, why don't you get these made? So we started in the factory and in October I had my first collection published. Wow, um, so and fast. that client sort of got hold of me on Instagram and suggested that I take oh. part in their show. Oh, how cool. The flying solo is great. I mean, they really are. See, like... So cool. I love that kind of like Rococo. Is that the Rococo it area? is. Um, so the whole theme of the collection is actually like modern oil. Um, so what I've done is it's a British heritage brand and I've tried to think about what heritage means with modern oil. Um, so I've tried to make things that would make you feel regal, royal, elegant. Everything is a little bit decadent. Um, but it's always done in quite like a fashion forward way. So the colours are modern colourways. And I try to integrate some elements of British And the heritage. embroidery too. Embroidery. Like these are very um, kind of embroidered. Um, so these fabrics are actually, this is actually based on a wallpaper print. Wallpaper? Um, wow. That is a heritage print. Um, the factory that does it has been working with British interiors um, for the last 100 years. Um, I've used other fabrics that are also based on interiors. So this is actually a brocade that is used in interiors, but we've worked with the mill and come up with fresh new colorways. Oh, very nice. I love the, the gold and the, kind of like a burgundy. No, like a pale burgundy. So cool. Very cool. I'm so excited to see the show. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so Thank much. You. Lovely meeting you.
The fashion killer. So that was a little, a little downtime. We're letting us go to the for the next show, as you can see. Having a little fun here in uh, Chelsea Market, and then we'll be heading over to uh, Sprint Studios, but I had to like, you know, wrap it.
Starbucks warming up. And we're at Spring, I watched the show there, got my hair done, which you can see is pretty much all falling out already. But and then we're going to be uh, heading to Uber. Like Uber. We're going to get Uber and we're heading over now to uh, Pier 59, but we're going to stop at Chelsea Markets for dinner. And then off to see the Oxford Fashion Studio show. So, should be here momentarily. Taking sand to the beach. Or sand is taking me to the beach. This is my phone talk, friends. Oh, no, I don't want to go out there. there Chelsea Market and I am starving starving I really really want food I'm here with Martin hello Martin <laughs> so yeah I'm all gonna get there but something hearty I need something hearty because I'm cold and I haven't eaten since 8 30 this morning and it's now like I don't know like six or something I'm <laughs> 